So today we are going to talk about the new querying component from uh, React Apollo, which I am so excited about. It's so cool. I think it's coming out about next week. I think it's still in, be in beta, so um, use it with caution. But I think it's coming out next week. So we're going to bump into that and also bump a little into the Apollo Boost. So there's a couple of stuff that we need to install. But since we're using Apollo Boost to get this stuff going, there's actually not a lot that we need to install. So I'm going to just go over here to the dependencies. Oh, if you wonder how to bump up the font size in, on this like I did, you got to come here and there's like font size. Because this took me a while. But glad we got that one going. So I'm going to install. First thing is GraphQL. GraphQL, there we go. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to install is Apollo Boost. If I can type. Apollo. No. I always hope that it's the first thing that shows up, but it's never the first thing that shows up. And then React Apollo. So React Apollo, do not install this. Install. I'm going to install 2.1 beta 3. Okay, cool. Let's go. Did it install that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I can now close this tab and now there's two things. Okay, so first thing is Apollo Boost, which is like this awesome thing that I honestly didn't know existed. But um, some guy pointed out to me in Twitter that I actually don't need like this, this useful, this whole thing. Apparently like Apollo Boost is a thing. So, okay, so let's import Apollo Client. Apollo client from Apollo boost Apollo boost if I can type Yeah, okay, okay, so this imports the entire client from Apollo boost and now to set up a new client like in this case I'm just gonna make a query so I don't need any fancy stuff. So I'm just gonna cast client You can see that this is so much fucking easier. Oh my god. God bless Peggy raisins. I think Apollo client and all you got to do in here is say client, not client, URI, sorry, URI, and pass the URL you want. I'm going to copy the URL. And that's it. That's all you need to set up. Now you just need to import Apollo provider. So Apollo provider from React Apollo, from React Apollo. And put it in here, son. So Apollo provider and the client is the, that that client close and close the Apollo provider. Okay, so that's it. We got Apollo. Okay, did it did it did it do anything? I like to close these things because red things like <clears throat> did it do anything? No, not really because we're not actually doing anything. So let's talk about this query component. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my main. And I already have this because I cheat in life. Because no one, no, I didn't. I don't think anyone deserves to just watch me type GraphQL queries. So yeah. So you need GQL for this. Where do you get GQL? From Apollo Boost. I know it's so good. Import. <laughs> so, uh, I oh I can never type this correctly. I, I know it's three line, it's three three letters, but Apollo. These new Mac keyboards. Am I right? Okay. So. Import GQL from Apollo Boost, and there's an error here. What is this error? I think it's an unexpected token. Oh, that's because it didn't quite understood the thing. So now I'm gonna just going to delete all of the things that I had in here. So this is my query, and uh, I can actually show you this. So I'm trying to create, like, I'm trying to change Webpack that what the fuck to be like a hub for Webpack things. I did make a backend using Contentful and this, but yeah. So if I, <laughs> yeah, I have very good names. <laughs> If I go to history and just like all links and use this. So this will return me all the links that are in there. So all links and this will return me like this ng-conf and stuff like that. It has all the meta stuff like that. Like it works pretty well as a backend. I'm just, I'm so lazy. I am so lazy. Okay. So I already have this set up because as I said, no one deserves to watch me type class name because this is not even CSS. This is Tachyon, son. No one deserves that okay so this query thing needs to be imported from react apollo so let's do that so import query there's also a mutation one import so query from react apollo cool cool 
Okay, so now we have this. And this is a component that we can just, like, pop in here. And it's not gonna do anything. I'm not sure, actually, if it breaks if I just pop it in here. And don't do anything about it. Okay, no, it doesn't break. So, how does this actually work? So, we pass it a query to it. So, in this case, we have this, so the get links query. So, we say, like, query, and we pass it a query to it. And this time, the query is get links. So, it says, children is not a function. It's because this doesn't work quite like we're used to. So, this works mostly with render props. So, what does that even mean? So, this means that we pass it a function, like this, that returns something. So if we actually don't care anything about the query, which is not the point of this, but we just want to put something in here, I can just do this. And it still says children is not a function. I know, right? What the fuck is going on? And there we go. So that was like a, an issue. Okay, so this is what we get. And in here, we get like the data. So we get data, which is not a very useful thing, right? So in the data, which is like the loading error and the actual data, we're gonna like uh, we're gonna um, spread them. So not not spread them. We're gonna. Um, I forgot the name, but it's one when you, you do this and you get the stuff from inside of it. So we're gonna get the loading, the error, and the actual data. Okay, cool. And so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just remove this and put it like this, so that we can return different things. And this is the default return. So. If everything, if everything is fine, just return this. Great, okay. So the first thing that I want to do is, if loading, return a loading. So if loading, that's it. And we're just going to return. Return loading, son. And if I re reload, as you can see, like it returns loading. So if, if it's loading, it's not actually going to return this. It's never going to break. So this is how, like, the idea of us rendering uh, the function, the render function works. So we get all the stuff, and we decide what we want to do with it. I think it's pretty sweet. I think it's a, excuse me, a better alternative than actually uh, creating a bunch of iOrder components that then becomes a tree of iOrder components. The if pyramid of iOrder components is the worst thing. So let's do the same thing for error. So let's say if, I don't know why I camel case that if, though. So if error... I know I can do this in one line, but this is more, like, readable. Return. Oh, no. Oh, no. The queries. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, if there's an error, just return this. So, what am I going to do to fake an error? Just remove this. And this says syntax error. Oh, no. The queries. Oh, no. No work. Dang it. This happens a lot. Like, I try to save. Okay. So, good. But you're like, yeah, that's, that's cool and all, but we got nothing. Like, we're just rendering the stuff. Okay. Okay, fam. So, from the data, we all, all we actually care is this all links thing, right? Okay, so let's come here and actually deconstruct. I remember the word. What did I do? Deconstruct the all links from the data. Okay, cool. So now we got the whole, whole links. Okay, so now we need to map over this all links. So in this return, what we're actually going to do is all links, that map, and uh, we get a link. And in that link... We are going to return this, and let me close this in here as well. Is this okay? Link is not defined. All links that map. What did I do wrong? All links that map link. Return all links that. What is link not defined? Because I'm I'm mapping. What? Wait, what? I think this is like. Oh yeah. So code sandbox sometimes like breaks in the breaks in your thing. Okay, there we go. So now we have like uh ton of cats cool okay so the title as you can see in here is all links and it's in the meta and title okay okay so let's see link so oh yeah it closes it automatically sometimes so link that meta that title and there we go so now we got titles let me just do the other thing so this is Oh, this is also the link that meta that title. So as an all thing, so link that meta that title, not time title. And let me see where the image is. So the image is meta image. Okay. So let me just copy this because I'm lazy, and paste it in here. Links that meta that image. And there we go. This is the title, and this is the description. This is. The description, so link that meta that description, 
this meta thing just means that it got it from um, description. There we go. No, it's not the description. Yeah, it's the description. But like in this case, the description doesn't really do a lot for us. Like in this case, but you know what I mean. Okay. So then you need the URL. So this is just link that URL. So let's do that here. So link that URL. I don't think this should be the description. It should be like something like C awesome web webpack things. So if you click this, you're going to see awesome webpack things. Nope. I never remember. There we go. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Okay, this is just like time um, how long this was ago, so I'm just gonna put in here like category. Uh, and this is like link that type. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's literally it. There's one image that's failing, but that's my API's thing. So if I click here, let me put a target of blank so that I don't break everything that I'm doing in here. So target underscore blank. Loading sun, you gotta wait for it. You gotta wait for it. Did it break? Hey, right. I'm just gonna reload the page. It's loading. How did that break the thing? There we go. Okay, it didn't break the thing. So if I click here, it's gonna go to the YouTube talk that I was talking about. <laughs> okay, so this is pretty much it. This is like the image is failing, so we're getting uh, the title. Should get to get the description. But that is it. So, okay, so I'm just gonna go over all of this again. So let me go to the index. And all, all the way installed was Apollo Boost, React Apollo, and uh, GraphQL. And to start with Apollo Boost, you just got to import, like, the entire Apollo client from Apollo Boost. And just, like, new Apollo client, just pass it to URI. And then just Apollo provider all up in that bitch. All good. Okay? Cool. Then to use the query component, you define your own query, as I did in here. Import QQL from Apollo Boost, and you import query from React Apollo. And then you just pass it the query. And in that query, in that query... In the query, you actually get a function that is the render function for that query, in which we get all the props. So the props are loading, error, data, and you also get refetch, stuff like that. So if you click a button, it's going to refetch all the things. So if loading, we just want to return loading. And if there's an error, it's like, oh no, the queries, oh no, sad face. If none of those things are cool, if none of those things happen, we can actually map all over all the links that we have. As you can see, like, this is the name of the query, all links. And create an article and just boost all over that stuff. So this is a very clean thing. Like, I honestly enjoy this. I hope you enjoy this. And I think this will be out about next week. So thank you so much for watching.